Good morning to you. Happy Thursday. And yes, tomorrow's Friday. Yep, you're you're getting there. You're getting there. And I bet you're looking forward to the weekend where you can uh, have fun in the sun or in the snow, depending on where you live. <laughs> That's okay. Both, both can be fun. I'm uh, Kitty Andrews with Declutter the Brain, helping you to declutter your space and brain so that you can experience that all-important mental clarity and calm and confidence that just makes life so much nicer, yes. And yeah, it's easy to do, but just take it slowly and have patience with yourself. If you get one takeaway today, just cut yourself some slack. It's all going to get done. The clutter did not accumulate overnight. It will not go away overnight, whether that's physical or mental clutter. And so just one step at a time. We love the word one at Declutter the Brain and emails. You look at those and you say one at a time. Oh, it can be done. Trust me on this because you can only read one email at a time. Now, Monday I suggested tur turfing the obvious garbage, which is a basic tenet in any decluttering program is turf the obvious garbage. Could be their, uh, LinkedIn is telling you, yeah, your video is uploaded. Oh good, I just clicked the button half an hour ago. I didn't need that visual clutter, so out it goes. Now, if, you, if you're one of those people that uh, maybe gets 20, 30 emails in your, in, in your inbox and you've got to look at those first thing in the morning, we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that management, but you want to start your decluttering process as well to get rid of a lot of stuff. And you might find some money in there too. You, you never know where a friend, uh, email from a friend. So what you want to do is, uh, is schedule some time. Now, whether that's five minutes a day to, uh, to go through some of them, a chunk of time on Sunday and no, on a weekend morning, uh, you could do it that way. One true way for sure, that's that's to get rid of a lot of the garbage. Unsubscribe from one shopping email or whatever it is you downloaded. Unsubscribe from one per day. I have an email list. I won't be hurt if you unsubscribe. It's, it's okay. We expect it. Okay, so just unsubscribe from one a day and watch your emails uh, get reduced. Time is money. Set a viewing time limit in the morning or whenever you're looking at your emails. Uh, I suggest 20 minutes, that's about what I do. And you want to skim your emails, see which is the most time, which are the time sensitive ones and color coding, which we're gonna talk about today, color coding. So make sure you get the important ones done first. Trust the voice of experience on that. Things have gotten missing, okay. Uh, so look at the most important ones first, address them right away. One email account, I'm afraid, is not enough. Have at least two accounts. One of my mentors has five. Uh, if you're an entrepreneur, have one for business. One, how many, Sarah? One, <laughs> Michael, Susie, Heidi, uh, Susan. Um, yeah, guard it ruthlessly. Yeah, if before you give out that address, ask the person, is this going to be for your for your mailers? If not, give them, if it is, then give them another address. Guard this ruthlessly and you will have to go through every now and then because they'll sneak something in. <laughs> uh, have one for your personal or you, know, you can have one for your family and friends, uh, but definitely have one email for those bulk mail outs that you signed up for. It's okay, we all do. Um, all right, color coding. Yes, yeah, that's where we are. I color code mine by category and I have, I have 10 colors that I use for various mentors or programs that I'm in. Uh, I, you know, there's um, an exclamation point for something that I need to do right away. Uh, purple question mark for something that goes to my assistant. And then the others are basically, uh, the green check mark is, is for my mentor, Danella, for example. So everybody has a color code so that I know exactly what it is. I am, I do have some dyslexia. So the colors really, really 
help me. And the colors tend to help ADHDers. It's all one big spectrum kind of thing. Um, so just it, it helps me. Yeah, you, know, you may have another uh, another way that helps you, and I encourage you to direct message me and let me know what your method is. Uh, and you may want to use those forwarding arrows as well. My eyes do not see the forwarding arrow. Uh, they only see colors. But whatever works for you, but uh, color coding is certainly a good way to go to prioritize your emails. Until tomorrow when we talk about be done with it. Yes, download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter. The link is down below. And while you're there, Go ahead and reserve a quick and no-cost chat with me and we can talk about if we are a fit to work together to get you decluttered for life faster than you ever thought possible. Have a great day, everybody. Bye for now.